Just bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Andre Durell, the rematch between Andre Durell and Jose Oscategui. They recently just fought over at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, in the undercard of the uh, big heavyweight fight between Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. This fight was the co future, the co main event that was shown on Showtime. And uh, yeah, the fight lasted eight rounds. The fight lasted eight rounds with Jose Oscategui having his hands raised in the end, winning the fight by TKO. Andre Durell, his corner, decided to stop the fight, and rightfully so. Um, I thought Uskategui was uh, beating him to the punch. Uskategui was landing combinations here and there throughout pretty much every single round. He was putting the punishment on Andre Durell. Andre Durell he was just using the jab, moving around, moving around, jab, and he rarely followed up with his punch. And when he did follow up, you know there were there were moments where he did land one or good two punches, but. They, they were, it wasn't enough to win one round. Plus, plus Oscar Tegui was very active in there, landing some really good combinations. He kept pressuring, um, and he just kept landing. You know, like I said, he was beating him to the punch, and uh, Durrell was just not doing much in there, and he was just taking punch after punch. And uh, I thought the corner stopping the fight was the right decision. Um, you know, after the first fight, he knew going to this fight that Oscar Tegui definitely got under Durrell's number. Scott Tegui was is, is the younger guy, he's a stronger guy, faster guy, and uh, he deserves the win, man. I'm, I'm happy for Scott Tegui, very good win for him. Um, as for under Durrell, at the age of 34 years old, definitely time to uh, consider maybe thinking about retiring. Um, you know, with this loss, losing to young guys like Scott Tegui, uh, yeah, Andre Durrell won't be a champion anymore. I don't think, I don't think he can beat any of the champions right now at 168. I mean, at 168, George Groves, David Benavides, Caleb Truax, maybe, maybe, uh, Gilberto Ramirez. You know, I don't think he can beat those guys. Um, but yeah, Oscar Tegui winning this fight actually makes him the mandatory because he won. He wins the interim title with this fight. He wins. The, he he won the interim title, and now he's pretty much set to fight Caleb Truax, or the winner of uh, the rematch between Caleb Truax and uh, James DeGale. Or at least that's what I think will happen. There hasn't really I haven't really seen any updates on a rematch between Truax and James DeGale, so who knows if that will even happen. But yeah, I'm just happy for Uska Tegui. Good job to him. Congratulations to him on the big win, Andre Dural. Like I said, man. I mean, he can still fight. He can still he can still compete um, against the top guys out there, but honestly, I don't see him beating any of the top guys. He's a good test for the younger guys, I'll say that much. I think he'll be a good test for up and comers at 168 pounds. So, so yeah, let me know your, what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.